What's going on guys, it's Al with Coop's Car Correction and I want to showcase um, mostly one product today but I'm going to use another one of our products to kind of, that go hand in hand when I'm, I'm using this one in detail. But anyways, it is our all purpose uh, dressing and it's called Dress Code. Um, this is great for tires, plastic, um, you could use it interior, exterior. I am more or less like it for exterior um, just because I prefer our interior detailer for interior cleaning and dressing. Um, but anyways, I am going to show you guys how I would do a tire and also plastic molding with this. Um, first thing first, this thing will dry to the touch in a minute um, so it won't sling. Um, I know some dressings um, that maybe you've used in the past after a hard rain or after you wash it, it kind of bleeds and streaks down the side of your truck or whatever and uh, nobody likes that. This won't do it. This will dry. You could put multiple layers on to um, get it a, a little bit glossier finish and it's durable so it'll last multiple washes. You know, you're not going to just pressure wash it off or clean it off after your first wash. So it lasts multiple washes in return saving you time down the line. But anyways, a little goes a long way with this, so you do not need to use a lot. Um, so I'm gonna do the tire first, and as the tire's setting up, I'm gonna show you how I do the plastic um, trim. And what I like to use when I do tires, I use pretty much three different tools depending on how the tires are. Um, the first thing I could use is just a regular three by five applicator. Um, I will spray it on the tire, spray some on the applicator, and level it out. Um, I also use an hex applicator. These are awesome, ergonomic, um, fairly inexpensive too. But uh, this is what I'm going to use on this one today. And then a brush like this. This will be great for like very aggressive mud tires um, that have big knobbies that you need to kind of brush the, the um, dressing in there. But anyways, let's go ahead. So what I'm going to do, always make sure you shake everything up. I'm going to mist it on. I'm gonna spray a little in the hex applicator. And I'm gonna go around and level it off. All right, so now I got some dressing on the tire or on the rim itself. You don't want to let that set up and dry, or else it's gonna it's gonna dry in there. Which it's not the end of the world; it'll come off. But might as well do it now while you're doing it. So I got some of our ceramic topper detail spray. Miss this on. I uh, got a nice microfiber. All right, now this is gonna dry up over the next few minutes and it's not gonna look as glossy with this one coat. Um, but as it's drying up, I'm gonna dress this uh, fender mold. So on this, I don't really wanna spray it because I'm gonna get way more on the panel and get it under here. So I prefer whenever I do trim like this, I'm gonna spray it on whatever applicator I'm using. Oh, yep, that's right product, sorry. Use for a second. And like I said, a little goes a long way on this. You don't need a whole lot. And if you spray it on, you're gonna kind of be fighting, um, you're gonna be fighting working it in, which isn't the end of the world, which I'll show you what I do if I have too much. So this panel soaked it in pretty good, but what I would do is if I had some white streaks in it, I would just kind of go over it real quick with a microfiber just to pick up the loose material. And then, um, now 
I since I didn't spray it, I don't have a bunch on the panel. But anyways, while while we're at it, um, this truck I'm detailing, I'm putting up good paint sealing on it. But I would spray some of my ceramic topper, the surrounding panel, and wipe it down just to make sure none of that uh, dress coat dries up on the panel. So there's that. This is still a little wet. I'll go over it again just with my applicator. Just to level it off a little bit more. And that's it. So take a look at this. looks awesome um, and that's pretty much it now everybody's gonna have their own way of how they prefer doing it um, the big thing for me is whenever I'm detailing or cleaning cars I want to do what's easiest for me to do it as fast and as good as possible um, so whenever you use products you know you might find a way that works better for you because that's the way you learn or prefer but if you have a different way you like to use the products um, set it put it in a comment down below and uh, I'm always interested in how people, you know, use their products because me, I'm always looking for ways to improve or get faster um, because time is money. The quicker you can detail your car, the quicker you can get in and, and hang out with family or, or do real important things that you, you know, enjoy. Not saying that we don't enjoy detailing cars like it's a passion to be a car enthusiast and keep the cars clean. But hey, man, if you could tell me I could save hours. Um, on detailing my cars so I could have more time doing the things I really enjoy, like maybe driving the car, um, you know, sign me up. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, Coop's Car Correction Dress Code. I love this stuff. I wouldn't be selling it and put my brand name on it if I didn't. Um, you can find it at coopscarcorrection.com forward slash shop. And uh, hope you guys enjoy this video and we'll see you soon. Thanks.